Hey there everybody, welcome back to Volunteer Tip Tuesday. My name is Adam and every Tuesday, my goal is to give you some practical tips that are gonna help make you an awesome youth leader. Today I wanna talk about new students. And what do you do when a new student or a guest walks into your student ministry? Do not ignore the new kids. Do not ignore the unconnected students. This is critical, you guys, absolutely critical, because students, eternity is on the line here. If a kid comes into your student ministry and they never come back, they may never hear the message of Jesus. If they come in and you welcome them with open arms, include them, love them, and then because of that, they come back but with their heart more open, then they hear the message of Jesus, they put their faith in Jesus, their whole life gets changed and transformed. Remember what it felt like when you were new. Now, for many of you, maybe you can't even remember the, when you were new at church because it happened when you were like six years old or something like that, but it is huge. Being new is very hard, especially for teenagers, you guys. And so I want us as youth leaders to make an extra effort to welcome in new students who walk into our student ministries. This is absolutely huge, guys. Over the years as a youth pastor, I've had thousands, I'm telling you, thousands of new students who've come into our student ministry and then they never came back. Never came back. Why? There's, there could be a lot of reasons why they didn't come back. It could be that they were like anti-Jesus. It could be that they didn't have fun. It could be a lot of different things. But one of the critical factors that causes students not to come back is they don't feel welcomed. They don't have friends there. They don't feel like we actually want them there. And, and this is something that we, as youth leaders, can easily fix. So my tip for today is recognize the new kid and prioritize the new kids and welcome in the new kids. So this is gonna start when they walk in the door. They're in the beginning of your student ministry time. When everyone's just hanging out, I want you to look for new students. Look for new students. And if you see them, go and introduce yourself to them. Meet them, get to know them, and then introduce them to some of the other key students in your youth ministry. And then not only just welcome them and greet them when you, they walk in, but I don't know what to say. It's awkward true i'll do a whole nother video with a bunch of tips on that but uh meet them and hang with them but then almost like i want to encourage you to be their tour guide hang with them for the entire night now maybe they have a best friend that they came with and that's okay and their friend can be their tour guide but i've over the years seen many students they bring a friend a new friend who's never been to church before to youth group and they're hanging with them and then they then they just ditch their friend and their friends like standing all by themselves like hey you, you come here with somebody yeah i came with joey but i don't know where he went and i'm like dude and i'm telling the students guys don't ditch your friends who you invite to our youth ministry you know um so uh, you as a leader, you're, it's, it's not about you. Be a tour guide for a new student. Hang with them during the teaching. Hang with them during the games. Hang with them during the worship. Hang with them during the small group time. Hang with them during whatever it is that you guys are doing and help kind of like show them the ropes and as you're going, introduce them to people and tell them what's happening and kind of be their tour guide so they can uh, feel comfortable and know what's going on during your student ministry. Third key would be to introduce them to other students and help them to meet as many other students as possible, okay? Fourth thing would be if you guys have small groups, in, invite them into a small group time and, and during the small group time make it a priority to include them and get to know them and all that kind of stuff during small group time. In our student ministries there should never be a student who is alone. If you see a student who is alone, especially if they're like a newer student or a disconnected student, do not ignore the kid who is all alone. Just drop what you're doing and go and hang with them or get your key students to go and hang with them. Find out what's going on in their life and hang out with them because man, uh, if a student comes and then no one talks to them and they're sitting by themselves for any period of time, I'm telling you, they're not gonna wanna come back to our youth ministry because it's gonna feel unfriendly. So we never want a student to be alone. So if at any point you see a student alone, do whatever you can in your power to, to fix that situation and invite them in to, to play a game, invite them into a group, invite them to sit by you, go sit by them, invite them to come and get some food, do something, help that kid to no longer be alone. 
Maybe you're thinking, Adam, well, what about my regular kids? I've got like these five kids that they are my mission. They're the ones I'm supposed to be hanging with, getting to know, discipling, all this kind of stuff. Do I just ignore my regular kids for the sake of these new kids? And I would say, to some degree, yes. If you have a first-time guest, you need to prioritize that kid. Why? Because a first-time guest, if no one talks to them, they are never coming back again. Your core kids who you hang with every week, if you don't talk with them for that five-minute hangout time at the beginning, they're still gonna come back the next week. And you can always, and, and, and bring them into this, tell them what you're doing. Hey, this is a new student, we've gotta make sure that they feel welcomed and included and a part of the family, right? And then invite them in to help you with that. And once they buy in and own that, then they'll help you with that. And your youth ministry will become one of the most welcoming and friendly places on the planet. And then kids will start flocking in and it will be, incredible but I would prioritize the unconnected kid the new kid and helping them feel connected over the kid who already is connected and that kid who doesn't if they don't talk to you they got five other friends already who they're gonna talk to a new kid may not have any friends and they need somebody to help get them connected and include them before they can feel like they're a part of the family before they can feel like they belong and so I would say yes for the sake of the new kid it's even okay sometimes not always but sometimes to prioritize them over your regular core kids. Your particular student ministry may already have a built-in system and strategy for how to welcome in new students. Awesome. I really hope they do. If not, help them to work on that. But even if they have that built-in system, that built-in strategy, and you're not the person who's in charge of the new people, still, guys, how much better would it be if not only the system welcomed in new guests, but everyone just welcomed them and was excited that they were there and wanted to meet them and wanted to get to know them. You can be one of those people who makes students feel welcomed, even if it's not your job, okay? Wow, holy cow, it's raining. So in summary, look for the new student, welcome the new student, prioritize the new student, love the new student, include the new student, pay attention to new students and unconnected students, and do everything you can to welcome them in and integrate them into the family of your youth ministry. And through your love and welcoming them in like that, I believe they will see the love of Jesus and be drawn, have their hearts opened to the message of Jesus that you guys are preaching in your student ministry. There you go, volunteer tip Tuesday. I got a couple more elements to add on to this in the next coming week's video. So see you back next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. If you like this, share it with friends who are also youth leaders who might benefit from it. Peace.